Hey everybody, Spoonfat here with uh, JavaScript level 8. And it's a page protected by 448 bit Blowfish encryption. Now, anybody knowing a bit about encryption, this is, well, very impossible to crack because it's a too high bit, as it were. Uh, meaning, it has a lot of operations, a lot of stuff it's doing before you can find out what it is. Normal uh, hashes are maybe, I don't know, let's say, for web cracking, that's the easiest. No, let's forget about hashes. Web cracking, uh, you can do that in, um, I believe there is the 128 bit, which is like the the, the max or something, and you have 40, 64 bit. So, 128 bit web cracking that takes about 10 minutes but it's well 256 bit encryption that's kinda already tougher to crack if you have AES encryption or DES that's pretty tough it's not impossible but it's tough but 448 that's nearly impossible you can do it but it will take you a long time so how you finish this or get through this um, mission in encryption or in, indeed in any well in, let's stick to the encryption it's easier you have kind of links so all the links need to be strong and encrypted otherwise well you, you can just as well not have encryption because it's only strong as the weakest link that's what I'm trying to say so right here we have the page is protected by 448 bit blowfish encryption and then it says here please enter correct password here well a password box that's a weak link now if we go to decipher.js which is called upon um, to do the blowfish encryption it says here the password submit and then all kinds of nonsense you can read it but it's only uh, for this story here I'm going very quickly now but this is what does the blowfish encryption but then at the bottom it says if the keyword is equal to that then do everything else so basically this is the password So you enter the password, and I'll do it like that, and then you click here, and you have done it. And here it says, as well, it's only as strong as the weakest link. And then it says, although cracking a 448 bit blowfish cipher is virtually impossible, which it is, cracking some poorly written JavaScript. Strip it. There's a typo. It initiates the ciphers virtually priceless. Indeed, it's like I said, it's only as strong as your weakest link. So that's the same what sometimes happens with people that um, do SSL certificates. They do SSL certificates on their main domain, uh, but but only on that main domain. And then uh, when they have like I don't know another page like for a card, an e-card page then they don't have SSL for that or they only have SSL for the e-card page but not for the other pages so you can as well you can still crack them if you want um, well that's it for JavaScript 8 and I believe there's only one JavaScript mission left and then we're done